In this video, I will be making metadinitrobenzene from benzene. So first, I have to make nitrating mixture. For that, I am taking 9 ml of concentrated nitric acid and 13 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid. I started adding nitric acid slowly to concentrated sulfuric acid drop wise with constant stirring. But as the temperature started rising, I kept the beaker in an ice bath to maintain the temperature. Then I measured out benzene in a measuring cylinder. But while pouring the benzene, some benzene fell down. So I got only 3.5 ml of benzene. The reagents were calculated according to 5 ml benzene. Anyways, I poured the th benzene inside the round bottom flask and then I slowly added the nitrating mixture into it drop by with stirring. The round bottom flask was later placed in an ice bath. Since the addition of nitrating mixture to benzene was exothermic. <coughs> After all the nitrating mixture was added, I placed the round bottom flask with on a water bath with a condenser on the top for a reflux. The contents were reflexed on a hot water bath till 40 minutes. What's happening here is first the benzene is getting nitrated to form nitrobenzene. This reaction occurs at 50 to 60 degrees Celsius. Then at high temperatures that is 90 to 100 degrees Celsius, the ben nitrobenzene starts getting nitrated at the second position, at the third position that is the meta position to form meta dinitrobenzene. After 40 minutes, the contents of the round bottom flask were slowly poured into ice cold water. You can see that metadinitrobenzene precipitates out. The precipitate of metadinitrobenzene was filtered off using vacuum filtration. And the precipitate was washed with cold distilled water. This is the crude metadinitrobenzene. Now to purify it, I'll be recrystallizing it from 95% alcohol. So I am transferring the crude metadinitrobenzene into a 100 ml round bottom flask. To it I added around 20 ml of 95% ethanol. And the flask was heated on a water bath with a condenser on the top. As the on heating the metadinitrobenzene dissolved in the ethanol. When all the metadinitrobenzene dissolved, the flask was cooled at room temperature. I kept the flask in the ice bath to precipitate most of the crystals of metadinitrobenzene. Then I filtered the crystals of metadinitrobenzene using vacuum filtration. This is the recrystallized metadinitrobenzene. After drying, the final yield came out to be 5 grams, which corresponds to a percentage yield of 75.75%. If you like my work, you can support me financially through Patreon and PayPal. Links are in description.